this is David Gersich's property. I'm in the backyard. We're going to be doing a cleanup, which will include um, removing all the weeds. For the weeds, we're going to use a strain trimmer to knock everything down and then rake everything up. And whatever's left over, we'll spray with the weed killer. Make sure we get all the weeds in the joints um, in here. So this area right here, the divider is kind of like right here. Once we remove the weeds, we're going to put down landscape fabric. We're going to put a uh, bender board for a divider. And we're going to put... Um, one and a half inch river rock in this area for the dog run um so weeds in here weeds all those weeds we need to remove and those birds of paradise we're going to remove there is a drip line running through here but it's been chewed up by dogs so we need to connect it and uh we're going to be working under the assumption that this line right here runs underneath the concrete and it comes out right there so we're going to connect that to the water line and it should run if that's not the case we are going to have to quote separately to run a new line here but hopefully it seems like this is what it is and then we'll drop we'll run a drip line and then we're gonna uh, plant boxwoods in here leaving clearance for this access door right here and the boxwoods will um i'm a oh, that's a gate huh there's a gate here but they will run around here like that okay um, and that's it for plants for now for this cleanup we, we there are talks about doing other plants but for now these are the only plants we're recommending um, we're gonna have a line item to prune the palm tree just the dead branches and that's it uh, this one this one and then that one um, so we are uh, rehabbing all the drip irrigation making sure that the lines are working um, there's pea gravel starting from here to that area. We're gonna also remove this pea gravel, put in um, landscape fabric and put in the river rock in here as well, up to this rock right here. It's gonna be a little different. It won't be the same color as that. River rock is more of this color actually, just bigger. It's not gonna be these small, tiny little pieces. Um, walking over here, so there's more weeds that we need to take care of. All these weeds we're going to use a string trimmer to clear out the joints uh, this tree here is pretty healthy it is kind of growing more on this side so we want to come in and remove some limbs so it's not touching the house and then we're going to leave it um, some limbs on the bottom too for clearance it'd be good to remove we are going to mow the lawn and put a pre-emergent weed control in here and then we're going to use a uh, drive accelerate on the on the uh, clover right here to um, to kill that off so that the grass can can um, recover we're going to put in um, a fertilizer as well get it all mowed there are weeds in these planter beds too that we need to take care of okay okay cool okay this valve is something's wrong with the seal right here we're going to need to replace the head of this uh, the anti-siphon and then this right here there's leaking so we're going to do two valve rebuilding included all these weeds need to get removed um let's see so oh yeah and then in, in regards to the irrigation system we're going to rebuild two of the rainbird valves they're three quarter inch and then uh, we are going to check the connection between the timer and the valves there is a code that there's no signal so we're gonna check to see if there's a signal going through the wires or if the signal is just a bad solenoid here so if it is a bad solenoid, we'll get that all replaced. We'll get it rewired, it'll be fine. There's a slight chance that the wire got damaged. So our quote is not gonna include a wire replacement. That's gonna be a separate um, job if that's the case. That's very unlikely. So yeah, mow all these lawns, get them fertilized. Uh, there's some shrubs, very few shrubs right here. We'll prune them up so they look nice and neat. And that's it for now.